and ladies, please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. Versatile Viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Hello, everybody! Can get a rock? Huzzah! 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 Huz
it should be noted by all net attendants, Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right, I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Ooh. Mr. Joe. Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel the fairest of them all. Ah. 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 Rapunzel. Uh. Ah, Princess. <laughs> Rapunzel, Mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Smite sings your magic song? <laughs> Flower, please. Whenever I sing the magic song, let the power shine. To shimmer and glow. Make the power glow. It's Mother Gothel Young. This one special cow. As Gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Like sands through the hourglass, thus were the days of our lives. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh. Ah, princess! <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Now get me my mirror. Oh, you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. Oh, look! You're here, too! <laughs> Realizing this might be her final opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Rapunzel, I was wondering... It's my birthday tomorrow, so would you take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, Samuel, Samuel. flower clean and glow, let your power shine, make the clock reverse when back Rapunzel's mine. Ta-da! I told you, the world is a dangerous place full of ruffians and thugs, and that's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful tower. Oh, seriously, sorry. Sam! Flower glow, power shine, clock reverse, my my my. Boom. For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, 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 ever leave this tower. Ever! Trust me, Rapunzel. Mother knows best. <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see those floating lanterns, so she did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted the young man climbing the tower. Stranger! And as the young man hauled himself into the tower room. Lords and ladies, a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! Huzzah! <laughs> just then, Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. <laughs> After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, and hid it. Now, surely I can convince him to take me to the floating lantern. Rapunzel didn't notice that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. <sighs> Look, Blondie, there is no way I will ever, 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 ever take you to see the full okay. game. <laughs> I'll take you to see the lanterns. Anything to get that crown back. And so Rapunzel let down her hair. And down the tower they climbed. <laughs> All right, this is a weird. <laughs> Climbing down here. As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as... Flynn. Flynn Rider. Oh. <laughs> and before Rapunzel could say... Oh, here, Bristlin. Their feet were on the ground and they were off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this! This is so fun! I just hope we don't run into any ruffians! Thugs. Hoping to end this adventure as quickly as possible. And to avoid being arrested by the royal guards, Flynn said, Hey, are you hungry? I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Sunday Deadly Tower. Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. Hello! Oh, well, Virgil, look at this bunch. This is a mean looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. I mean, look at that guy. Never trust anyone with a mustache. Especially a milk mustache. Oh, and don't be fooled by the princess disguise as I even saw this one on the kingdom's most wanted list last week. Oh, you know what, Blondie? I think it'd just be a whole lot safer if you turned you around and got you back home. What do you say? Just go back to your tower and get the crown, okay? Excuse me. Are you Flynn Rider? Yeah, well, do I look like Flynn Rider? What do you think? Does he look like Flynn Rider? Close it off! Get him! Wait a minute! Give me back my stranger! Oh. I'm Larry! I need him to take me to see the floating lanterns! It's my dream! Don't any of well. you have a dream? I had a dream once. I've got a dream! I've got a dream! See, I ain't as cruel and vicious as I seem. 
Though I do like breaking femurs, you can count me with the dreamers. Like everybody else, I've got a dream. Aye! I've got a dream! Then take it away, fellow ruffian! I've got scars and lumps and bruises. You know, something here that loses. Unless I even mention my complexion. But despite the extra toes and my good red my nose, I'd really like to make a love connection. He's got a dream. He's got a dream. She's on a dream. I just want to see the floating lights and clean. <laughs> and with every passing hour, she's so glad she left her tower. Like all you lovely folks, she's on a dream. Yes, way down deep inside, we got a dream. Yeah! <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, came a brand new character nobody had ever seen. That's Maximus, the horse of the Royal Guard, and he's after me. <laughs> Follow me. There's a secret passage. <laughs>
queen and the missing princess. The missing princess. The missing princess, Eugene! I have to go! As quickly as you could, Rapunzel race back to her town. Rapunzel, where are you going? Rapunzel, where have you been? Out there, discover who I really am. I'm the missing princess. Huzzah! Well, bra, so you figured it out. But you and your magic hair aren't going anywhere. You'll stay right here and keeping me the fairest of them all. Hi! Hi! Eugene! I discovered who you really are. You came down to the floor. He's dying. Well, that's the circle of life, my dear. Now, come along. Where are we going? No one will ever find you again. We can't let him die. We can't let him live and expose our secrets. Please, please. Let me heal him, and I'll go away with you forever. I promise. Knowing that Rapunzel never broke a promise, Mother Gothel agreed to allow her this final act of kindness. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. What if you do this, then you'll die. With his last bit of strength, Eugene grabbed Gothel's knife out, oh. cut Rapunzel's hair. Ah, <laughs> golden hair suddenly lost all its magic. Causing Mother Gothel to wither into a shrieking old hag. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> brat! Oh, oh, serious, but thou hast done! Ah! <laughs> For I melt, I melt, is not a bit of fun. Oh, what a world, what a world, what a small world after. Oh! Dying breath, Eugene uttered the words. You are my new dream. And you were mine. Rapunzel was heartbroken. In finding her dream, she had lost true love. And all that remained was a single tear. That tear fell upon his cheek and began to glow. I see. The same magic that was found in Rapunzel's hair was also present in this single teardrop. Its healing light flowed through Eugene and sprang forth, swirling around the tower room. And with that light came new life and new love. We returned to the kingdom and revealed Rapunzel to be the missing princess. At which point the king and the queen, my real mother and father, welcome me with open arms. <laughs> it wasn't long before Rapunzel married Eugene. And we all lived happily ever after. Lord and ladies, a right round of applause for Princess Rapunzel. And how about a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider? And let's not forget Sir Samuel of Morocco. And so we did a little magic, and you all did your part. Yes, we created. Chronicle of courage and heart. We told a fairy tale with once upon a time at the start, and had a happy ever after. At the end, happy ever after at the end.